I think the body issue is absolutely beautiful because it represents who we are as athletes and we are nothing without our bodies. We're gonna go for a focus, so stand by. And I don't want to do things like this to do things. I want it, I want it to be an inspiration to, to other people, both men and women. One, two, three. Well, you know, it's funny because you work out uh, the way I have trained and you realize as hard as you work, your ass doesn't follow. Am I supposed to say that on TV? There's just that natural gravity and it's just, it's life. And it doesn't bother me anymore because it is just part of the process. And I, the biggest thing as you get older is enjoying the process of getting older. There it is, yeah. I could not have done this 10 years ago, I wasn't that comfortable with myself. You know, there's phases of your life and career where you become comfortable with who you are, what you are, and what you stand for. And I'm just so comfortable with who I am today and what my impact has been, you know, over the last 40 years. Two-time Olympian in 1980 and played 17 years in many leagues, including a men's professional league. I was sitting in my house in Dallas in 1986. I get a phone call from a guy, Andy Ekman, and he says, you know, I'm with the Springfield fame and we would like you to come play for us. And I'm like, the men's league? And he said, yes. You know, my hero and my lifelong friend, uh, Muhammad Ali, he told me when I was 19, respect everybody, but fear nobody. He said, you have to be able to do this, whatever you do, because there's going to be barriers in front of you. You're either going to do it or not do it. I need to work hard. I'm not satisfied. The latest chapter in the history of women's sports, the debut of the WNBA. It was important for me to be a part of the, the WNBA uh, in the inaugural season. And, and I will say this, Magic kind of pushed me on it. He goes, hey, man, are you going to play in the WNBA next year? And I went, I don't know, you know, I'm gonna be like 39. And he was easily man. I've never heard you say, I don't know. Are you gonna play? So it kinda kinda fired me up. The crowd is on its feet! They want three! They got three! Nancy Lieberman crying with her first field goal! I have eked out everything that I can from this body. I played in the WNBA at 39, and then I came back and played in the WNBA at 50. So how that happened was I was doing the TV for this, um, this network called ESPN, and I was doing the All-Star Game uh, in Washington, and they asked me to run through the, the skills challenge. So I, I ran through it, and they had my time, and I didn't know Bill Lambeer, he was sitting in the, the stands. He goes, that time is unbelievable. And he says, when do you turn 50? I said, July 1st next year. He looks at me and he goes, you wanna make history? We didn't know when I was gonna play. I'm sitting there in a restaurant and we see the brawl with the Sparks in, in Detroit. Whoa, oh, not left, here we go. Okay, this is absolutely inexcusable. Go, go to the bench, go to the bench. And like the, that night, I get a call from Bill. He goes, well, I have a few roster spots that have opened up. <laughs> I said, yeah, I saw the fight. He goes, this would be as good a time as any uh, for you to come join us. Nancy, let's go. And with a minute one to go in the first quarter, we have some people in the arena standing up because Nancy Lieberman, the Hall of Famer, is now in the basketball game. I'm just a girl following my dreams. I have a, a strong belief system, and, and quite honestly, uh, I'm not afraid. I want somebody to go, oh my gosh, how could she do this? I can't believe she looks like that. She's 60? I mean, I want, I want to hear, wow, I can do that too. I'm a mom, I've been a housewife, I've been an athlete, a commentator, a coach. We can have it all, but it starts with your health.